Hello everyone, my name is Ofri Jeremiah and in today's lesson we'll be talking about the topic programming language. It is believed that at the end of this lesson we're able to have learned the definition of programming languages, difference between programming languages and coding, levels of programming language as well as features of each level of programming language. So what then is a programming language? Programming language is a type of language, a type of written language that tells the computer what to do in order to work, okay? They are used to make all the computer programs and software that you know. So your computer is as good as dead without the software. And these softwares are built with the help of a programming language, all right? So programming language, a program language is a set of instructions that the computer follows. The computer cannot work on its own without the software. And this software is written with the help of what? A programming language but most times students make mix it up the difference between programming language and coding it's always confusing so we are going to learn the difference between programming language and coding what is the difference a programming language is typically responsible for the entire software product all right so programming language is a process of building an executable program that can be used to carry out proper machine level output such as analyzing implementing algorithm, understanding data structure, solving problems, and more, okay, involve both lines of code and programs, okay, so for instance, let's say I built a software that interprets colors, okay, a program will tell, tell you that, that this is red and that is yellow, this is black and that is green, okay, but in the case of coding, Coding is just a process of translating and writing code from one language to an another. It involves many lines of code only, okay? It's responsible for a certain part or part of a software product. It's not, it has nothing to do with the entire software. For instance, let's use the case of a book. A program has to do with the entire book, whereas code has to do with just a page of that book, all right? So programming, cut across every area of a software product, whereas coding is just one area. So let's not get it twisted, okay? We also have levels of programming languages. There are basically three types. We have um, the high level programming language. We have the low level programming language. We also have the machine level programming language. What is a high level programming language? It is a, high, a, a language that enables a programmer has to write programs that are more or less independent of a particular type of computer. What am I trying to say? Here, yeah, the program written with the high level programming language is more or less independent. It's more or less independent on the computer. It works, it doesn't depend on the computer for it to function very well. It's considered a high level language because it's closer to humans. Okay? Human can easily understand it more than other languages. Okay, there are types of high-level programming language. We have the Python, we have the Java, we have the PHP. There are a lot of them. Okay, but what about the low-level language? Okay, it's a language that provides little or no abstraction from a computer instruction. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is the architecture of a computer setup. It's only it's easy for the computer to understand it more. That is a low-level language. It's easy for the computer to understand a low-level language than a high-level language. It might take the computer less than a second for it to understand a low-level language, but it will take it more than a second for it to understand a high-level language. Okay, so that's why most people will tell you that it's a, a, a low-level language deals with computer hardware component or constraint. They are correct. So it's, a lang it's also known as an assembly language, okay? So the computer can easily understand a low-level language than a high-level language. How about a machine language? It is a collection of binary digits, okay? That is 1 and 0, okay? For instance, if I want to write letter A, okay, according to the APSCII standard, APSCII is an acronym for America's Standard Code for Information Interchange. 
okay just like we have the si unit okay i'm going to write it as 01 on the computer i want to write letter a i'll write it as 01000000 that's five zeros and one but on your screen you're going to see that just what what a okay that is the job of a machine language i know you'll be wondering what's the difference between a low level language and a machine level the machine language the level the difference is a low level language has to do with alphabet numbers okay like we have the load we have the more uh, the multiple we have the divs and all of that they are low level language you write codes with alphabets and numbers but in the case of a machine language is strictly numbers and those numbers are just one and zero okay so you see the difference between the two at this point i believe we'll be able to understand the definition of programming language and the difference between programming language and coding as well as levels of programming language and i know we can also explain each of these level of programming language all right if that has been established then let's try it out to see if we can list four examples of programming language that we know and also we will try to see how we can differentiate between coding and programming language thank you very much and bye for now